You know, RVers have a lot of hobbies, but you, you almost never find a model railroad in RV park, especially alongside someone's motorhome. But Jim and Lori Crowhurst of British Columbia, they, they have just that, a model railroad, a garden railroad, that uh, is set up right on their campsite, and I asked Jim about it. The uh, train has kind of changed over the years. This year is the most work I've done on it. Um, I will probably take up the tracks over the winter and put them back down next summer and, or spring, and I would like to add another track somehow or another to get a second train running on it. Um, it's more interesting, more than anything. And it's something to do on the weekends while I'm down here. Oh, a lot of people just just stand and ask questions, just like you're doing right now, as to how it came about and why it came about. And they're, I don't know, some of them are amazed and some of them critique everything, saying, well, you know, well, you could have done this and kind of done that. So. Uh, there's a lot of kids that come by and they sit there mesmerized for maybe a half hour or so before their parents drag them away. And it's just, you know, I, I enjoy doing it, building it, and running it, and I'm just happy that everybody else enjoys it. Like our neighbor, she sits there for hours at, at night and watches it. So <laughs> Last year we had one little set of lights up in the trees. This year it lights up pretty good. I kind of... Uh, describe it like an avatar scene because it all pulsates and it's it's just pretty oh I probably have two to three thousand dollars invested uh, with the rolling stock and the track and stuff like that but it's all it's not like it's expendable it's all there it can all be reused if I have to leave and go somewhere else most of my product here is very low grade. You can spend up to five to six thousand dollars just for the engine itself. Uh, if you go live steam, even some of the electrical big boys and stuff like that run thirty two hundred and more. So it can get very expensive. And when you see what other people have done, this is just pittance. I'm honest to God, it's it's just. But it's fun. It gets rotten out. I'll probably pick it all up. It's it's not really built. If you read all the literature and stuff, it's not really built as a <clears throat> a long-lasting outdoor train. Mm. If you were to do that, you'd have to do a lot more uh, dirt work and stuff like that. People that had this had that big plant back there, so I saved the plant. That mounded dirt, as you'll see was all the leaves that I raked up and put some dirt over top so one day that'll all collapse but you know like it's uh it was just a big mess in here and and I thought well what the heck just try putting some trains up on it see what happens <laughs>